special car. It's finished in Mountain Laurel or pink. It's its original color of the car. This car has excellent solid history and it's it's very it's very well optioned. Uh, we'll walk around and tell you what we know. The own the current owner is uh, believed to be the second titled owner. We have a lot of history on the car. Um, this collection, this gentleman likes to drive his cars, so he likes to make sure they're fully operational. Everything works, including the uh, uh, high beam ind indicator on the dash. Um, well, what do you call that, Je uh, Jeff? The electronic the, eye. The electronic eye on the dash for the high beam setup. Anyway, we're going to walk around and we're going to kind of tell you what we see. It's a beautiful car. Its restoration was completed right around just late 90s, early 2000. It's all correct. The wheels have been updated to Sabre wheels. The original hubcaps are included with the car. In fact, there's a story in the trunk of the car, the magazine of the car. The lady actually had her name. It was sold originally new up in Yuba City, California, and it's now down south here. Um, and the lady lived in Marysville, California. But she had marked her hubcaps because she was worried about them being stolen with her full name and address and stuff. Those, hubca those uh, hubcaps are included with the car. Um, the Saber wheels are an upgrade. He's got those radial, these are brand new. These are the uh, uh, radial, they look like bias ply tires, but they're actually radials. It's a new thing they've come out with. Uh, the high beam indicator that we're talking about is right there. Our, uh, he's actually, you'll see a little Bluetooth set up here on the dash. Radio's been completely modernized by his curator who handles electric radios. And the top is called a polo gray, which is actually a white Mount Laurel, which is pink. It's a pale pink. The body on this car is just beautiful. We had it up on a lift. The floor pans are spectacular. Um, but uh, underneath the hood, you'll see here in a moment, we cover everything. The, it, it's all original underneath the hood, and it's all been gone through. Everything's right. Hop in this car, take it to the show. The grill and bright work is very nice on it. He's a very particular gentleman when it comes to his finishes. Like I said, he's owned it about just under 20 years. It's a car, uh, it's actually his uh, lady's car, Rhonda's, Rhonda's caddy. Power steering, air conditioning. It's got all the options that you'd want. The air conditioning's ice cold. Hydro Boost power brakes. Coupe de Ville, the the, uh, the anodized plating on the Coupe de Ville and the front on the front, or uh, the uh, V on the front, the front on the front, is very nice. Has a power antenna, all functional stuff. This is the first year where they had air conditioning where it actually came out the dash. And you can kind of see them here. I'll show you here in a minute. I'm going to step back and let you take a good look at it. It's an elegant car. We've had multiple people stop. We're down here by a park in Costa Mesa. The doors all shut right. The gaps are right. 75,000 mile actual mile car. Um, prior to its uh, body on restoration. Firewalls, the original color, you're able to tell that. And like I said, we, we should have a build sheet for you at Spud's Garage. You just got to get, get to the office and get it out of the file. Upholstery's all been redone. Center armrest slips down. Beautiful bowed headliner, much like they did in the Nomads in the same era. Dome lights, you notice all the dome lights work. Doors open. Now this radio... Even the Wonder Bar, Jeff at Hot Rod Electric updates all the radios on his cars. This is a really nice, uh, and call me if you want a phone number or a guy to do that. It's, uh, the Wonder Bar still works. It's got AM, FM reception, correct? Yes. And uh, it's got Bluetooth, so he can actually connect his cell phone to it. So he takes those apart and takes the guts outside basically and update them to modern and you can still keep the original look. It's definitely worth the investment. Uh, the dash is beautiful. It's obviously been uh, recovered. You'll see the AC vents that I talked about here. You can close them or open them for passengers and the AC blows ice cold. There's the electronic eye for the headlights, power windows over there, but the trim and bright work on the dash is just like the rest of the car. It's a beautiful car. Same Mount Laurel color, you know, pink. Um, 
and black. The buttons are beautiful. It's got the the uh, metallic uh, in the upholstery here. Anyway, I'm going to shut the door. Make sure you watch this. That easy. The top's beautiful. Let me open the door again. I want to show you the flippers. They're much like a 57 Chevy, but these are important because a lot of times they don't work right because guys over tighten them in the reveals here. It's right. Saber wheels are beautiful on this car. Does come with the hubcaps like we talked about. Step back, let you take a look at the back side here. What a pretty car. You know, I dig doing cars like this because, you know, they're, they're only so many cars out there that are well preserved with documented history like this car. It just makes them special. Um, the lady's name, I forget, was it, was it Whitney? or We'll have all that at Spud's Garage. It's actually, uh, there's a tag under the hood too, and we have other documentation that shows it was her car and it was bought in Yuba City and stayed up there in Marysville. There's that license plate we'll talk about in the back of the trunk. We'll talk about that. There's an article in the trunk there that we'll share with you. The chrome plating bright works perfect. The fuel door is right here and it lifts up. We'll have a picture of that at Spud's Garage. I'm not going to lift it up with a camera in my hand. I think uh, you get the idea. You got to love the wings on a 57 Coupe de Ville. Pretty. Anyway, we're getting near the end of the video. We're going to get inside here on this side. Um, then we'll get underneath the engine compartment. We actually put it up on the lift for you to show you that it's absolutely rust free, rock solid, dry. Um, we spend some time underneath there. Again, turnkey runs and drives. In 125 and 98, this car had 66,942. We know with the history of the car that the miles are um, 75,000 miles on this car. Back of the seat, same thing, the upholstery is beautiful. If you'd like to show you door jam to door jam, there's a tag here. The original warranty tag. 57.62, so it's Series 62. We've already been in here, so we're going to... Hey Jeff, you got that key? The key? We'll fire it up here and actually turn on the radio to show you. You want to make it work, Jeff? Okay, watch the power antenna going up right there. So the Wonder Bar is moving along like it's, yeah, it's amazing. Super. It's ATOM, the new free This is a. Uh, that's volume, this is the tuning, you have tone, and you have speaker control. Cool. 75,164 believed to be actual on this car, and we have some pretty good history to prove that. Um, we're thinking you get the idea by now. I'm just going to go ahead and hop out and um, let me go ahead and turn this on cooler, turn it over to high. We just turned on the air. Might as well do that while I'm in here. It's already cool and it's cold. They just went through all that to make sure everything was functional. So anyway, I'm gonna hop out, let you hear it run here for a second, bite you in, get you under the hood. Cars like this come along, you gotta act on them. We're never any pressure, give us a call. If we can make a fit, between both parties, that's what we do. Go to spudsgarage.com, learn more about us, and give us a call. Have a great day, and make sure you hang on underneath the hood here. Like we said earlier in the video, this gentleman likes to make sure every one of his cars runs and drives and everything works. Recently, he's just went over everything underneath the hood, went through the AC, making sure it was working right, went through the fuel pump, the carburetor, through the power steering, went through the electrical to make sure everything was good. Uh, it does have uh, electronic ignition in the distributor on it, so it's modern and safe. Um, power steering, the brakes went through, so on and so forth. But it's a 364 cubic inch V8, which is original to the car. Um, it has been rebuilt several years ago, and it only has a few thousand miles on it. 
The hydromatic transmission, hydromatic automatic, um, has also been gone through. Just a very nice survivor's car. If you look at the paint on the firewall here, that is the original finish on this car of the firewall. It was not resprayed when they redid the exterior of the car. Um, power steering pump was like we said went through it has a new power steering gearbox in it or the steering box in it the hydro boost has been gone through anyway we're thinking you get the idea this is just a really neat 57 caddy well maintained the kind of car you can drive um, anyway hang on to the end of the video we'll have it up on a lift here shortly for you right, have a let's great take day. a look at the trunk just as tidy as the rest of the car this is a very well preserved car um, Gonna share it comes with quite a few things. We believe the uh, the owner says he's just got to locate it for us, so we'll have that documented at Spud's Garage as soon as we locate it. Uh, original build sheet to the car. Here's a '57 shop manual. This car was actually in a in a magazine upon its original uh, completion uh, and and restoration in the late '90s. Um, it's a beautiful car. And it, and it talks about the Cadillacs in the article here, and then it goes into some of the history on the car. We're going to actually have this posted at spudsgarage.com. We get that build sheet, we'll get it posted too. Uh, it's a mountain laurel finish on the car, which is the color, or pink. Um, and you'll notice here, I want to point out one little thing here. You see the license plate is LET120. Um, and here's the LE120 front plate and there's one on the back here. So it's got plates on it that would have been issued to it in 63 when California required the return of plates. Anyway, there you have it. He's turning around so I can photograph the other side of the car. All right, we have the benefit of a lift here. Very nice, solid California, Northern California car California history I believe its whole life um, 75,000 mile car undercarriage so excellent driver well preserved original we're gonna walk around and kind of show you now they just went through all the brakes on it he's owned this car for a lot of years uh, but they like to keep things up to date and everything in his cars work so you probably heard me say that in the video but they just went through all the hydro boost system and they went through the brakes to make sure they were all updated all new shoes and stuff Jeff yes yeah uh, all new brake hoses on the front we'll show you that uh, floor pans are all original floor pans on this car you just don't find uh, caddies like this where they're just rock solid no undercoating sure it's been black but it's all there's nothing hidden, no attempt to hide anything, all back here. Spring pockets or leaf spring pockets are all beautiful. This was a, I uh, believe probably the first year on the X-Frame type for a Caddy, which is kind of nice structure-wise. We'll actually show you the rockers here. The rockers, you can see all the pinch welds, and this is the original uh, paint finish on the rockers itself on the underside here so you know the color the exhaust stem has Dynamax mufflers on it it's all tucked up nice where they probably would have done it factory wise uh, flows that direction the engine and transmission uh, I believe it went through and everything like I said I always say through uh, this collections cars there everything's functional drive this car anywhere air conditioning so you got new brake lines uh, new brake hoses on it here he just put a brand new steering box in it also or probably remanufactured right yes. yeah rebuilt the steering box Anyway, you're at the end of the video. We really dig you coming to Spud's Garage. We bring you nice, honest cars, um, or honest representation of cars of what we see. Uh, give me a call. I'm never any pressure. Sure like to see this car uh, go to a good home. It's been uh, this gentleman and his wife's car for many years. It's very special. It's been written up in magazines. Anyway, go to spudsgarage.com where I'm going to have more details for you. Uh, original California black plate is included with the car. Have a great day.